all right guys back with another video today's video is going to be on this mccullough 610 um it is a pro max 610 here and um this chainsaw just wasn't um starting uh it's got it had good spark clean gas clean out the carburetor i, I really wish i would have done the video from the from the get-go to go through all the uh things that are most commonly messed up with these mccullough's um it's an older saw as you can see uh but today um Today's saw was it's really just a, one of these things that gets overlooked and a lot of people throw their weed eaters, chainsaws, all these little sm small two-stroke engines away because something that happens, and you can see these older saws leak a lot of oil, is these exhaust clogged. And you can see this one. This one <laughs> I, I cut with my DeWalt cutter um, that I should have just took it, taken the... Um, the screws out but the problem with the taking the screws out is the way that they're mounted you can't really this is in the way from putting a screwdriver in the top and getting to those screws and it was just one of those things where i just wanted to make sure that that was it so i just took a dewalt cutter and, and, and got in there and cut the top um but if i get time i'm going to go ahead and uh, get to the screws and and take the exhaust off uh and i would take the screen the uh, spark arrestor is what they call this so but you can see see this edge right here see how black it is it's just it's just covered and thick and clogged up with oil um this the guy that was using this was when i when i poured the gas out it was black almost it was i'm sure he's running a 50 to 1 and maybe even a little bit stronger and this actually this saw actually runs on a 40 to 1 so um, but you can see that and then the whole thing looked like this it was just clogged so and when you have something like this you're gonna have no air coming through and if you don't have air to push to push through there it's never going to start and if it does start it'll turn right off so if you have a chainsaw or weed eater uh, check the spark arrestor um, a lot of people just throw the spark arrestors right away but I wouldn't recommend that because it's just not safe but um, and, and I have another spark arrestor that I can put in the place of this so this one's going to come out and then I'm going to put another one in but that was the problem uh, was the spark arrestor it just it was just keeping it from idling uh, as you can see this is a clean saw um, it was only I, think, I won't say how much I paid for it but it was very 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 cheap uh, clean saw uh, but it just it just would not start and um, so that was the problem with that and, and it was also um, the idle screw was all the way in as well but even when I uh, took the auto screw out it still didn't start so it was definitely a spark arrestor and let's just make sure this thing uh, runs uh, I started it just to make sure it ran but I haven't really got to see it so just to show that it was in case the spark arrestor here let me let me see make sure this thing starts up uh, on should be let me check fine now uh, like I said just the spark arrestor and and that goes for weed eaters and chainsaws and 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 your other small little small devices like the two two strokes uh, my next video I'm gonna show how to work on these high and low and idle screws so you can get the right adjustment for your chainsaw uh, but yeah there it is hope that helps somebody out